Today I'm going to attempt to sew a dress in one day and I thought I would take y'all along on the ride with me. Along for the ride. Regardless, you're coming with me. And it is 10.03 a.m. Getting a little bit of a late start and we're gonna see if I can pull this off. I think I can because I did cheat just a smidge. I've already cut out all of the pattern pieces. This is a very simple dress. This is one that I've made a lot recently so I think I can do this. This is a dress that I'm making out of a fabric that I found at Ross that is from a shower curtain and I just loved it because it was Halloween-y. I just thought the reflectiveness of the fabric was really cool. Anyway, so pieces are cut. Let's get started and see if I can make a dress in a day. The first order of business was clearing off my sewing room table, which I had left an absolute mess the night before, and the iron had decided to just leak all over that table, so that was fun. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start by making the bodice, which is the top part of the dress. And I'm going to make, because this fabric is kind of thin, to make it so that there is a bodice on the inside as well. So that way it's just not like raw fabric on the inside. So I'm actually making two bodices, bodice eye, and I'm going to put them both together. So that's first things first. I've got the pattern piece cut and those triangles that you see there, I'm going to bring those in. That's going to be this part of the dress. They're called the dart. Now normally when you cut out your pattern pieces you also mark your fabric where the pattern piece tells you to which I failed to do. So my pattern piece like many have little dots or perforation holes in them that tells you where to mark your fabric because you're either going to be stitching those parts of the fabric together or it's just like in this case an indicator where the straps of the dress will go. So I had to get the pattern back out mark all of those things with my tailor's chalk before setting to any sort of work on the sewing machine. Okay, it is now 1024 and I have the two bodices darts put in. There they are right there. Um, and then that will be the inside panel, the, the liner, I guess. And then here it is here. Ta-da! Okay, now I wanna stitch them together. It's 1043 and I have the um, why can't I not remember the name? The liner of the bodice and the bodice, the front connected. I'm going to flip them inside out. Now, next step is I'm going to iron this bodice so it's got a lining, which is nice. No rough edges. And I think I'm going to do the straps next, but I think it's just a tube. It's a tube top, y'all. I think what I'm going to do is trim some of the extra fabric. It's really hard to flip this corner when there's all this excess fabric. So I'm going to trim this flip it and iron it and then work on the straps of the dress. Okay, it's 10.53. Don't you love the accuracy of the times? Anyway, so this is now, I love how reflective this is. This is the bodice lined and where's the darts? There we go. So I'm just gonna wear it as a corset, just walking around like this. Okay, it's 11.23. Straps are finished. These little pockets are these little openings that's where the, oh lord, is it gonna fit? That's where the straps will go. Yeah, they'll fit. I also cut the sections of the circle skirt ahead of time. So here's my pattern piece. Imagine it's like a slice of pie. So there's four slices of pie to make a complete circle. Um, but I folded the fabric over. So uh, that means I have two halves of a pie. <laughs> Math. Just even four pieces of pie got me confused and hungry. I'm gonna unpin, definitely putting in some pockets. Do have to cut those. Then um, I have to hem. Hemming a circle skirt takes a minute. And it's a little tricky because hemming a straight line is easy. You just fold the fabric up. But hemming on a curve, the fabric gets a little funky and wonky. So that'll be fun. Now the great thing about using a shower curtain and the reason I did it wasn't reason number one because the fabric was just so beautiful it stopped me in my tracks and it was $8.99. Usually when you go shopping for fabric a yard of fabric if it's $8.99 that's a steal. So to get that much yardage and usually a yard of fabric is uh, not very wide. I don't know if it is a yard. Maybe, maybe that's why it's called a yard of fabric. Regardless, when you use a shower curtain, it's super duper wide. So you're getting a ton of fabric. And so I'm using all of that fabric to cut out pockets. But what I forgot to do, and so I actually had to cut out extra pockets was 
I forgot that the fabric had a print. So I was just going to cut all of the pocket pieces going in this direction, but I had to cut two with the pattern right side up and then two with the pattern right side down. So that I ended up with pockets that had the fabric the way that I wanted it to go, the pattern the way that I wanted it to go, if that makes any sense. Because trust me, even little things like that is like a mind bender for me. So imagine putting together a whole dress. It's hard, y'all. All right, it's 11.53, and I have the front and the back of the skirt, and I just finished stitching in the pockets. So I have to put like sides together, like sides meaning the beautiful side, put them together, and then stitch down around this shape. The shape always cracks me up. Down around the shape and down to the bottom on the front and the back. Hey there, how's it going? So this part's really not too bad. I'm just going to match up like sides, pin it together, and then stitch. Now when you stitch, you're gonna stitch starting at the top, go around that weird curve, and then end up at the bottom. Really not that bad. The skirt stitched pockets. Now I'm going to flip it inside out. Now I did sew the whole thing closed. Oh, by the way, it's 12.15. Here's the skirt. Oh, look how shiny. Um, yeah, so now we start, which you can't see. Now I'm going to sit and iron and work on the hem. But first, I think I'm going to go get some lunch. We're back, and I took lunch break and then uh, doing some other stuff break. And so it's like quarter till three and now my hands are sweating because the hustle is on. I'm going to start now ironing a very, very tiny hem and then stitch that. Ironing the hem on a circle skirt, it does take a minute because there's so much yardage and because you're doing it on that curve. So you can only do it like a teeny tiny little section by a teeny tiny little section. Otherwise, it gets like this octagon kind of edge. But I finished it, stitched it, and here it is. It's 9.43 p.m., I'm in here with Max, my cat, who's having dinner. I went out for dinner, went for a hike, ice cream, and uh, and went and bought zippers. And now I'm back. But it's late. I'm about to sew the skirt to the bodice. It's stitched together, which literally looks like nothing. The back is completely open, so I'm going to stitch this all the way up and then take out about that much of the stitches to put in the zipper. So now comes pinning the whole dress together, but then I took a little bit of a break to harass Max, who looked like he needed me to hug him and smoosh him and give him lots of love. He's so cute and fuzzy. And then I went back to the sewing machine, or actually back to pinning. This time I'm pinning in the zipper before hitting the sewing machine. So that means I'm getting really, really close, but it is getting really, really late. Once the zipper is in, it's just down to a couple of more things. And it is 11, and I'm doing this silently because Mitch was fast asleep everybody was asleep but the dress was done the couple of more things were just adding in the straps I managed to get it done and now I wait until the next day to try it on to see if it fits fingers crossed all right here it is I love it I probably out of the three Halloween dresses I've made so far this season I think I like this one the best I think that I really like that I did a circle skirt. If you've been following me on social media, I've done the same pattern with Halloween dresses. Like I said, this is my third one. Um, and I've done the same bodice, but I have been doing a gathered skirt. And I really like that I went with a circle skirt for this one. The problem then came the belts. There's so many options. They all look okay. But I think that the best one was probably the first one, the patent leather one. But now seeing it again, I actually think I like the bow one better. Anyway, here's how it is styled. Sorry for the camera angle. And yeah, I managed to do a dress in a day. Thanks for joining me, guys. Toodles.